All right, been working very, very hard. Blah, blah, blah. Also, I might have to sneeze. I really hope not. Pretty low chance. All right, so, uh, even though it's actually kind of warm out, for some reason it's kind of cold, a little cold in my apartment. And the heat's not coming on because it's like high 50s, low 60s outside. Yeah, but whatever. It's, wear a jacket again. Which I should, I should actually just clean this. All right, so, okay, I mean, today's a special day because it's the Federal Reserve meeting, so that pretty much will make or break everything, like, literally. Like, they are the world government for now, so, uh, and they control all the money, right? That's why they're a central bank. So, I figure I'll get this out, especially since Fear just launched. It was crazy yesterday, but thank God Sim was able to, you know, get it done. That poor guy, not only is he getting some threats, not a whole lot, but some death threats or something like, uh, like that. The guy, the poor guy's been working like 24-7, essentially. So, I actually DM'd him to say, hey, you should just go to bed. You definitely deserve to rest. You know, so. So, hopefully he got at least some sleep, right? Because, you know, they're still improving the website. They got a new domain. Thank God, because the old Sphere Finance domain, like the dot store, it was just so bad. Uh, but, yeah, obviously, they're still cleaning things up. They're probably fixing some bugs still, right? So whatever the case is. And, yeah, these uh, charts actually work now. And this chart goes to box swap. This thing goes to the swap thing, which I don't know whether it works yet. Uh, okay, yep, so they embedded the bog swap thing. I'm still using quick swap, right? Because as much as I like bog swap, the problem is the auto tax and auto slippage system is just too confusing to me. I'm just too lazy to like figure it out. So for those of you who are new, uh, this is called Sphere Finance, and I've done a video on this before for sure because I got on the whitelist, so I had to do a video to get my invites and then, you know, whatever. So I did not buy a full $4,000 worth of Sphere in the whitelist, I, uh, but obviously I would have if I had the money, but I tried pumping as much money as I could. I'm not going to tell you how much I have, but I will at least say that I am in the upper tax bracket. Uh, well, well, you can only be up to, well, not upper tax bracket, right? we'll talk about but I'm in this one. The plus, I have to pay an extra 5% tax, basically, because of, I, I actually hold quite a bit of coins. All right, so the other thing is, I actually decided to pop into Just Sleep Peterson and Cozy TV. So I actually had a nice chat with everybody there. So I know some of you might are actually going to be watching this. So uh, first of all, thanks for you know subbing to the channel. So welcome. Make sure you got you have to behave because obviously we're on YouTube, right? That's why I behave and self censor. In fact, a lot of because when Joe the Boomer got banned on Discord, they only banned his account. I mean, I'll just leave it at that because I don't want you know I I don't want the small chance that they're gonna hunt down Joe and then like screw him over some more, but every, but the Discord, the the Joe the Boomer Discord, and everybody else is mostly in there, right? And I of course have no problems, but I also don't go crazy, right? I actually I even self censor on Discord too. I I don't go too crazy on there too. That's why I'm fine. Well, that's another reason why I don't stream on Cozy, even though I think I could probably get in on that. Because cause then, you know, these these tribal globalist F-words, you know, you know what they're going to do, right? It's like, so uh, this is just more effective what I'm doing because I can just expand a lot quicker on using a mainstream. Basically, I treat myself as like the barbarians of Rome. It's, it's been a while since I've used this analogy, but you know what the barbarians of Rome, right? When Rome fell, you know what they did, right? At least the story goes, the barbarians, they were really not. They're actually very highly disciplined, highly, highly uh, cultured uh, Germanic tribes, I think. Yeah, they've been waiting a long time to get revenge on Rome, by the way. Yeah, they used the same road systems and other systems that the Romans built against themselves. So that's basically what I'm doing, all right? So, now, would I like to stream on Cozy? Yeah, yeah, sure, if the deplatforming risk wasn't an issue, all right? Because Jesse Lee Peterson can get away with it because he's black, all right? So, and I'll tell you that he's really just a nice Christian guy, right? Someone like me, no, they're, they're going to take me out too, you know. I, I know too much, and well, I'm kind of like an asshole too, so, <laughs> you know, what, what are you going to do? So, anyway, all right, so now that I'm mixing audiences, and I think I got everybody kind of up to speed, uh, I'll just get into this, and well, I'll just make sure you pop into the live uh, stream in a couple hours, so... Actually, FOMC meeting, what time? Is it still 2 o'clock? 
Because I... Because I want to avoid what happened last time where I get jabated and, like, they say 2 o'clock, but it's really 2.30. And then I have to, we have to sit there for, like, 30 minutes waiting on Yahoo Finance and the Fed. Today's the 16th. So it still says 2 o'clock, so, all right. I guess I'll go lie around 2 o'clock because I'm assuming they're going to be late, I think. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. All right. So, uh, so if you don't know what Sphere Finance is, so that's a quick uh, update since today, just yesterday, something. So this is called Sphere Finance. They uh, are obviously still improving the website. You're, you know, Sim hard at work. I really want him to go to sleep because it's not healthy for him to keep working like this. All right, but he really enjoys the project, obviously. And this thing is like super legit. Um, they already have an endorsement from Polygon themselves. You can just check their Twitter. I don't want to bother looking. Uh, they are also audited by Certic. I don't know what this WIP is, but they got the really good one, all right? And of course, you know, Jesse Eckel and his Obsidian Council. So, and they got the highest, I guess they have different level KYC packages. So basically, you could just rest assured, plus I also know the dev, right? We both came from the policy team of Metaverse Pro, now aka Congrid, which I did a recent video on because they got mainstream coverage from Coindesk or T Cointelegraph. All right, so this project is run by really effing smart people, all right? And I helped design the taxation system that we're going to go over here. So, you know, this is this is solid. This is going to be solid, okay? In fact, it's actually technically better than Titano, but obviously this project just launched yesterday officially. So it's going to take some time for, you know, this clown show, right, Sphere, to, you know, basically turn to Titano, which is fine, all right? Because... I missed the boat on everything. I missed the boat on Titano because I went into Metaverse Pro because I didn't know anything else existed. And we all know what happened there, right? You know, I get, I, I get effed in the ass really hard against my consent and with no Vaseline, right? I'm still, I'm still, I'm still hurting from that, right? And I'm probably going to be hurt. Depending on what happens in a couple hours, provided the Federal Reserve raises rates, you know, I should be able to recover hopefully in the next few months, right? Get all my money back at least. If the Fed screws us, then it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're all going to lose our money. So, <laughs> yeah. Yep. St. Nick, uh, I mean, we got to hope that he brings in more people in the government this November. So, anyway. Okay, so that's a quick thingy. Encourage profit-taking. Our dynamic tax system ensures that no one person can cause massive swings in the price. Yeah, as you already know, I call them super predators because... Because you could see what happened to Phantom, right? And the whole Andre Cronje thing, right? By dynamically raising a tax when a transaction negatively affects Sphere's liquidity, yeah. So, again, the primary reason why most, especially Tomb Forks right now, you know, are all suffering is because there's, because this is what happened in Metaverse Pro. Extremely high APRs, no taxes, perfect arbitrage opportunity. And when you have the arbitrage going on, it's just constant, you know, death loop spiral downwards to, towards the zero, right? Because mathematically, that's what happens. To get around that, you have to have a taxation system, right? Just like what's going on, you know, with this. So, yeah, you guys can see this. All right, so this is their app dashboard. I'll actually link to all four of these links, I think, because I think it's, well, because also there's just not a lot of links and info because everything's nice and simple. So that's actually nice. Right, uh, but the buy tax is 13% and the sell tax is normally 20%, but obviously we just launched, right? Sphere just launched, so it's at 30%. And then like, I think six or seven o'clock later tonight, it'll drop down to 25%. And then two days later is a Friday, right? Yeah, and then this Friday at the same time, which I think is 6 p.m. I don't know, what did I say, 7, 8? I think it's actually 6 p.m. my time, I don't know. Uh, this is why, because they they have to, because obviously this is global, so you have to use the UTC time zone. There's like no, there's no consistent way to calculate it for New York City time. So anyway, it'll be 20% this coming Friday. So and then it'll remain there in place. Uh, there's some code in there they that they can make it so that it goes up to 25% if the community agrees to it. So it's not that bad. So in addition, so basically it's 20% sell tax, and then in addition. If you happen to actually be a very large whale, you're going to get hit with this dynamic tax, which again, I'll explain later. And I designed, I helped, I helped Sim design it, right? Sim is the developer, right? The chat, the literal channel owner in Discord. Okay, so let's see. 
All right, so we got a market cap uh, to be determined. Yeah, they're still working on it. Uh, Treasury balance is already a million dollars, and of course, eight, I'm going to write a hundred thousand a hundred thousand APY, okay? Because I'm not going to do this decimal crap. Uh, okay, protocol token acquisition. Siri uses the Treasury to buy valuable governance tokens on Polygon. This generates blah blah blah. I think that's a quick swap. That's obviously Polymac. That's Curve Finance. So remember, we're on Metaverse Pro now, congruent. Uh, policy team so we know all about the taxes and the governance tokens and all that shit well sim definitely does me i was just more like minor support i don't know what this is but it's obviously important and i don't know what this other thing is it looks like uh socrates or socrates from bill and ted's excellent adventure the actor who played socrates <laughs> so i guess this is important too all right um okay uh, I guess you can look at the roadmap, Sphere Games. So this is this is, this is the uh, Titano play, so that's really good. Where no one loses and 10 people win every three days. Yeah, I'm definitely... See, now that... It's because I missed the boat... Oh, yeah, I didn't finish my Titano. Because I missed the boat on Titano, right? I would have actually had a few hundred thousand dollars right now. Actually, I would have half a million if I went into Titano instead of... Oh, my God. I don't want to keep reminding myself of that. All right. Well, this is my chance to kind of get financial redemption. So I'm definitely going to get the sphere gaze and I'm totally going to win this like every three days or six days or whatever, you know, because I actually calculated that you could actually win this. Right. Because I'm assuming when they come out sphere games, Titan will play, you know, there uh, there's going to be a calculator. that will just straight up tell you what are your odds of winning. And then I can figure out. OK. All right. Because I'm going to tell you guys how much sphere I have. But when this clown show goes up to like 10 cents or, well, right now, Titan is basically 18 cents. It, it, that thing's just popping off. Yeah. I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to use that uh, sphere game money to buy my condo or house in Florida and just get the hell out of this shit city, right? I can't stay. I mean, the city's been nice, right? And I think they've actually started cleaning up the homeless people, right? Because, you know, i got to be careful what I say here. Mostly dangerous minority homeless people are like wiping us Asians out, right? As I mentioned before. So and now the city actually seems to be kind of taking it somewhat seriously. And funny enough, I actually see murders of homeless people. Like there's actually, there's basically like random murders slash serial killers just going around killing homeless people. Uh, now, I can't make any comments about whether, you know, how I feel about it, but I'll just say... <laughs> Hey, as long as they're not whacking me, then, you know, hey, I'm just going to stay away, you know? So, yeah. But, yeah, I guess now the city, New York City, has kind of realized, hey, we probably don't want that happening, right? Because I think if homeless people die, they, the, the city actually loses money in some sort of warped funding from the government, the federal government or whatever, or state government. So, like, oh, shit, you know, we got to do something. Which I'm all, I'm perfectly fine with, which means they have to get them off the streets, which is what everyone wants anyway. So, I just hate this effing city so much. Can't wait to leave. Operation Bribe. Sphere will incentivize other protocols to participate in Sphere Wars. More Thune. Uh, I don't actually know what this is. I'm pretty, actually, I... We've, the other thing I can vaguely recall is Sim and I discussed expanding the ecosystem for Sphere, you know, creating utility. So I think this means they're going to create their own. Oh, yeah, I think he did mention stuff like this. So they, he might want to create his own little DAO, and I guess that's what this is. Oh, yeah, and then Sphere Finance will become like what Curve Finance is. So you basically become like a viable governance token. And everyone has to fight for your, your, your attention or something. All right. So you see the daily ROI, it's basically a little under 2%. There's also a Dyson Index. Uh, I don't remember what this is, but this is kind of borrowed from like Olympus DAO and DAOs in general, right? That Time Wonderland crap. So that's basically uh, there's basically a re-indexing uh, re thing. Now the difference is, okay, now I remember what this was, right? So they want to create like a wrapped version of a bunch of spheres. So you could uh, transfer it across chains, right? Go cross chain. But you obviously can't just take a sphere and then just cross chain it because obviously the contract code says just keep rebasing, right? So you need something to tra you need to store it in something, and then transport that something, right? So that's what the Dyson index is. So 
basically, if you had one Dyson and it's like at the time worth like a thousand sphere, then as this rebasing keeps occurring, this is this Dyson index, just like the Olympus Dow and Hector Dow and etc., it'll keep going up over time. It never goes down. So you'll still have one Dyson, but that one Dyson will be actually worth more sphere later on because obviously the supply of sphere is constantly expanding, right? For the most part. Also, what was the rebasing period? It's every, is it, it's every 30 minutes, right? You know, I should actually know this, but I kind of just don't care because it's like, just give me money. <laughs> just give me money, all right? I don't care about anything else. All right, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna. Assume, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna assume it's every thirty minutes. So you know, someone in the chat or the comment can just correct me. By the way, you know, if you still act like a disrespectful asshole, I'm gonna block you from ever commenting on my YouTube and then you know delete your comment. So just keep that in mind. Eventually, I'll have a bribe system in place where you can get back, right? Because I'm pretty sure that I should be able to get YouTube monetization, and you just don't make me a bunch of money. Says. Hey, can you unban me? I promise not to be an asshole or whatever, right? And they're like, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, you gave me money, so. Um, yeah, I, I think you cannot charge back Google, because if you did, Google's going to get really mad at you and just ban your whole shit anyway. So I don't have to worry about chargebacks. Uh, so, and of course, I'll make sure I'll have something like, I mean, I have Subscribestar, but I kind of want, I really just want crypto. I really don't want dollars. I'd rather take crypto. So I have to eventually look into a, like a, crypto donation stream elements type of thing. I don't even know if there's a good one out there yet. It's just, everything's just too new. So, all right, so before I move on, I explain this temporary tax. So we should probably move on to, yeah, and then we'll take a look at the chart real quick. Cause, yeah, Cause obviously just launched and not much to say. All right, so the only thing that really matters here on this documents page is this dynamic taxes. All right, so, so I am in this 1% of the LP or greater, but less than 2%, because obviously I'm not going to tell you guys my real number. Uh, basically, we uh, Sim and I basically borrowed what the Drip Network uh, does, where they have a dynamic tax system, and it went up to 50%. So basically, the more Sphere tokens you have in your wallet, all right, because normally, because this, uh, this, uh, this is obviously a dummy MetaMask account, but the select, this is the thing you want to look at, your LP percentage. So, well, that and your tax bracket. So basically, if you hold 1% to 2% of the entire sphere supply that's in circulation right here, right? So right now, 1% of this would be, I don't really feel like doing math, 10%. Uh, 1%, 1.47 million sphere. So if I had 1.47 million sphere or twice that amount, right, or up to two, twice that amount, my LP percentage would read 1% to 2% or well, in between. And then therefore my, uh, my tax bracket would say uh, 5% here. So that means in addition to the sell tax listed here, I have to now pay an additional 5% tax when I sell, because it's obviously going to check my wallet, and then the contracts go, oh, okay, well, then, you know, you got to pay us more tax. So when you own 2% or more, the tax is now 10%, 3% is now 15%, etc., etc., etc. et, cetera, et, cetera, et I came up with something a little more complicated, but Sim simplified it down to just basically every 1%, you get an additional 5% tax, and so on and so forth, up until a maximum uh, of 10%. LP and your additional tax rate is 50%. So it says right here, for every 1% extra that you hold, the tax will keep increasing by 5% until your total absolute tax rate is 70%. So it's 50% here from dynamic tax plus the base 20% tax that we all have to, that everyone has to pay no matter what. So this basically is better than Titano simply because they're reinvesting the treasury. It's on Polygon, so it has access to like Curve and all those important like whatever clown Capegas these things are, right? These pictures here. All right? I just, I just know they're all important. I recognize these three. I don't know the other two, all right? Because again, I really don't like DAOs anymore because you know the whole Metaverse Pro thing. I know they can be good, but too much work, not enough profit, and still basically the same amount of price risk. So it's like, I, what's the point to me personally? All right. But, but yeah, with a 70 cent, with a 70% tax rate, it's just impossible for a whale to completely F up your project. If anything, 
you're actually making the whales and super predators work for you now, right? And then all that money is going to go into the marketing tr uh, treasury. It's going to go into the investment treasury here. And it's like, this is just ironclad. It's perfect, right? Right when 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 the whole markets were tanking, especially since last month when Russia invaded Ukraine, right? What well, was the only thing that was going up in value, right? Caesar Finance and Titano. I don't, um I wasn't aware of Liberal at the time, but I know that did okay too, right? Titano forks went up. Everything else just died, right? And why is that? Because again, the taxation system. And I mentioned this before, and this is why I want to focus more on finding more Titano forks that are good, hopefully. Right, uh, it's because I just I have I have to I have to reduce my exposure to this stupid bullshit where everything just keeps going down. Right, the markets keep going down. Right, because we know how highly manipulative you know these central banking assholes really are. Right, I think they're doing all right now because because I think there might be inside information floating around that 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 they, that the that the elite that J P Morgan and Goldman Sachs and them, you know. They probably have inside knowledge that, oh, they know what the Fed's going to do today. So they're pre-planning, right? Because I'm willing to bet you, if the Fed was actually going to screw everything up and then therefore tank the debt market and then we all lose everything, I'm pretty sure we would actually already be seeing the markets just tank. And then people are like, hey, what's going on, right? You know, again, insider information. So uh, Greg Marino, you know, he has his sources inside the big banks in Goldman Sachs. So I'm pretty sure he might get something like hopefully with 30 to 60 minutes before the Fed goes live. So anyway, to protect us against stuff like all that crap, you have a tax system in place. It's like, well, I can't. Well, because if you're a multi-billionaire and you have like 15 percent of the sphere supply, right, or even Titano, you're going to be like, well, I can sell $1 billion and I'm only going to get back $300 million. So why would I sell? Well, shit. Right? Because that's literally what's going to happen, right? So either the whale has to not enter in the first place, which is great because now we don't have to worry about the super predator problem. Right? But the guy does invest. You get all his money for free, basically. Yeah, it is for free. And then he's kind of stuck. Right, so he's got to ha he has to support you now. You can't lose as a project, right? Everywhere else you lose as a project because everyone, you know, this is actually now why I actually understand why the free market is a fucking scam, right? A true free market really is a scam, right? You know, so I mean, I still like it, especially if I'm gonna get, I can get rich off of it. But the thing is, most people aren't gonna be nice like me. Right? They're going to be more like Brando, right? You know, where he'll just simply like pump and dump your project and then you're left holding the bag in the end. So, you know what? Well, you can't stop that, but what you, can, what you can do, again, is make it work hard for you, right? You, you want to make it work harder for you, just increase the taxes. And guess what we did here? We created this dynamic tax system is just incredible. I, I love it. I love it. So... Uh, and then there's not much to say, right? There's a lot of pumping and dumping going on with Sphere right now. Everyone's an idiot that's dumping, and they are dumping. They're paying a nice, hefty 30% tax, right? Yesterday, the Treasury balance was a lot lower. It was like 100 grand or a couple hundred grand, I think, or 350. It's already tripled already, right? It's, it hasn't even been 24 hours. So this is just this is just fantastic. You know, right now, Caesar's under a lot of pressure, so. But it'll come back, so I'm fine with it. Kind of still, it's kind of sucks though because you know I do have a pretty big Caesar bag. But considering I didn't put that much into Caesar, and then I'm still like making you know good bank with it. Actually, I'm technically in very deep profit because I bought Caesar when I was at like sub fourteen cents. Well, let me see. Now it's sub thirty. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I'll get the chart. All right, you can see all these buys. Look. See, you're forced to buy Sphere, but you can't really dump it, <laughs> and that's what you want. You want you want to hoard all. You gotta be like the tribals. You want to hoard all the money for yourself and give very little back, right? So that's how you get rich. Yeah, and this only and Caesar's only brought under pressure because this idiot dumped his whole holdings. Like he literally, like this the, whoever this guy is that just made quote unquote eleven thousand dollars. I mean, he just uh, threw away his future. So. It still sucks, but you know what? I haven't. I, from what I can tell, it's just a couple big whales dumping because they're losing confidence. But everyone else is mostly buying. 
quantity wise, right? Number of buys. So when the Fed does hopefully the right thing in a couple hours, right? It's actually 1230. Uh, we, I sh that's what I, I need to go live for it. I mean, yes, for a little content answering some of your questions, right? Because I don't usually do live streams anymore. It's too distracting. But, you know, I want you all to actually see in real time how I react to an actual real like market uh, event. In this case, it is the event. So, all right. But yeah, hopefully it'll be good because I don't want to get screwed. Uh, you know, because I really need the money. So check out Sphere Finance. I know I did ramble a whole lot today, but you know, hey, I'm only doing this video. So what do I have in the next? I got High Point launch. That's not out yet, but it's coming any day now. Vinyl Finance. I've uh, got Argo Finance. That's on Metis. I've uh, got My Rabbit Farm. I got Ring Fi. And someone in the YouTube kind of suggested I look into Mind Drop and Spurt. So I don't know what that is, but hey, you know what? If it looks okay. I'll cover it, get the traffic, you know, keep growing the channel. And uh, yeah. Thanks, by the way, for all you, you new folks that are subscribing. So yeah, I think that's it. So just jump in later for the live stream if you can make it. You know, we'll see what happens. And. Well, I got an hour and a half, so I don't know. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just relax, I guess, you know, try to catch my breath. I already ate a little bit of food. Yeah, I've been gaining weight. I'm, not, I'm like 185 yesterday, now I'm 184.6. It's because I've been trying to change my diet, so I'm trying different things. And it's just very annoying. It's just very annoying. But, you know, I, I think I kind of pinpointed and figured out a nice little system I got here. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll see you in a couple hours or the next video if you're not going to bother with the live stream for whatever reason. And uh, let's see. I guess we could just leave this as the thumbnail. So, yeah, check out Sphere Finance. Definitely a big winner here. You know, this is a very nice addition to my portfolio. It's on Polymatic, too. So I think they're, the, they're still currently the only Titano fork on Polymatic anyway. So... I don't know. I think I might up my bag in high point uh, finance, believe it or not. I mean, I got in the original, original day one, week one whitelist for high point. That was like two months ago. So I only have 176,000 high point tokens. Uh, but I might consider buying more. I mean, I don't know. I have to, I don't know. When they get closer to launch, I'll actually do some extra research. And then, you know, of course, I'll do an update video on high point after it launches. So... All right, I'll see you uh, in a couple hours, our next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video everywhere, blah, 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 blah. You know, help keep it on the channel because you know, just in case you didn't see my videos from yesterday, I, I saw in real time how Michael Saylor said, declare all non-Bitcoin cryptos and DeFi and proof of stake coins, which is us, securities, and then leave Bitcoin alone. That really effing pissed me off, right? That was a direct attack on everything. You know, it's like It's like... I can't trust this Michael Saylor ass. I think he means well, but he's just like, fuck that guy, man. Fuck that guy. Which is why you have to help me grow this channel so I can call his ass out and then push back, you know, help push back on that shit. Because first of all, this is how we make our money. So we get take, taken out first, you and me. We're done, right? But again, this is why I don't like maximalism because this is exactly what always happens, right? You'll have a Michael Saylor asshole. You'll have... Elon Musk, when he was trashing Bitcoin to pump, you know, stupid dog coin, right? I actually still like dog coin. It's not stupid. But that's the point. It hurts all of us. So, you know, we need to push back against that. I can't do that if I have, like, you know, like five people, you know? Right? But I had, like, 100,000 people, like Jesse, well, Jeff Eckel has almost 200,000, I think. Well, then, then, then my, 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 you know, my, my words carry a significantly more weight. And then, you know, it'll, you know, I'll be like, Hey, yeah, this Johnson Chan guy, he's right. Why are you trying to fuck us, Michael Saylor? Fuck you. You know, we're going to, like, you know, fuck you, you know? And, and, and it's, Oh, yeah, it's it's shaming. That's essentially what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm describing, shaming. So I need your help so I can shame these assholes so that you and I can keep making money and then, you know, make this world a better place, right? So, all right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I guess that's it. So I, this video is already going to go too long. So, yep. See you, see you in a bit, though. Thanks.